Block DVD, St. Louis Hip Hop DVD and R&B Radio and TV right now we're bringing you to the Rib Shack pleasure of being in the presence of my man Mr. Alexander O'Neill. How you doing tonight? I'm great man, it's good to be here in uh, St. Louis, looking forward to a big show tomorrow night. But then obviously you can't come to St. Louis without coming to the Rib Shack, right? That's right. So that's why I'm here, to have some of this good food. But it's good, it's been good. So man, you right now, you are at legendary status man, in my book man. Like I told you earlier, I grew up to your music, man. My mom playing it all the time and so forth, man. Tell me, what have been some of the highlights of your career, man? Well, I think that probably the biggest highlight of my career is a six sellout show at Wembley Arena in London, England. Wow. And uh, I've lived in London. We just moved, I just moved back to America. So I lived there for about 12 years. And uh, I've had many highlights, but I think that would probably have to be the biggest highlight of my career so far. Sounds good. So listen, what type of advice can you give to the younger generation, the R&B guys that's coming up to try to have longevity, to be in the game a long time as yourself? Well, you know, I mean, I think that one of the first things you got to do is keep your priorities in perspective, you know. First of all, we all do something well, you know. None of us are special in God's eyesight, but we are unique. And you have to find out what you do. You know, I, I would always advise young artists to get out and get some exposure. Okay. Get in bands. Get out there. Nobody, if nobody knows who you are, then how can you have a chance to even be in the game? So you got to put yourself out there. Take a chance. Go join a band or get yourself some exposure. And that's what, that would be the beginning, beginning place, I would suggest. Wow, that's a lot of knowledge right there. That's a lot of knowledge. So, so you did a lot of collaborations through the years. Can you think of that, that one special collaboration you may have did with an uh, R&B diva or r &B guy that, that really just hit home for you? Well, I think that probably the collaboration with Sherelle and myself. All right. It's my number one achievement, you know. I mean, she's my partner in musical crime, and we do, we've enjoyed a lot of success together. So I think that one of the most special things that I've brought to, been brought to my career and to my life is in my collaboration with Sherelle. Sounds good, sounds good. So tell me, are you working on any upcoming projects or anything like that? I'm working on two new albums right now. I'm working on a brand new R&B album, and I'm also working on a big band album. Okay. Which is, uh, you know, songs like Frank Sinatra, Nat King Cole. All right. You know, all those kinds of artists. And, but we're doing it with the R&B flavor. So that makes it a little different, you know. Sounds good, sounds good. Well, listen, we appreciate you taking time out to come to the Rev Shack, to come to St. Louis, to bless us with your presence. So you have a show going on tomorrow night, right? Tomorrow night, Saturday night, at the Ambassador Lounge. Uh, really looking forward to it because, you know, I played there many years ago, but everybody knows that the Ambassador Lounge is history. It's, a, right. it's a historical building, and Sherelle's going to be there along with myself. So we're really looking forward to her. A big night and hopefully a lot of people come out and enjoy themselves but there you have it st louis mr alexander o'neill legend the man himself in the world famous rib shack well listen enjoy your time in st louis and uh hey thanks again thank you for having me